Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and today we are at day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. Congratulations on the nomination. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Talk about some of the challenges for this season. I know every season brings its own challenges. Oh, um, well, we are right now in the writer's room for Better Call Saul, mm -hmm. so uh, we are about to meet with them and find out a little bit about the arc of the stories that are going to be happening. Um, it is certainly one of the most uh, uh, challenging projects any of us have had. Um, finding exciting ways of telling you know, Saul's story is, you know, we kind of renew it every year and it moves in a different way. Uh, we're also moving close to the Breaking Bad time period, so in a strange way we're navigating from one world into another and trying to, like a jazz band, work our way back to the, the primary root you know, key that we were all in. So it's kind of an exciting little adventure and we're all working together to figure out what that pathway is going to be. That's going to be really interesting to, to make your way back to a project that already exists and you've already worked on and then to bring it uh, in the new aspect of it. So I've got to imagine as an artist that is fascinating. Well, it's really fun because when we started out Better Call Saul, one of the key um, sort of edicts that we were given was to not do Breaking Bad 2.0. We were going to start from scratch. We were dealing with a character that ultimately nobody really had used music to tell his story. So for Dave Porter, the composer, and myself and my team as music supervisors, we were really starting essentially from scratch and developing a new character. Also, it wasn't Saul Goodman, it was Jimmy McGill. So we had an opportunity to tell his story and knowing that he was going to become Saul Goodman, but not quite knowing the pathway to get to that. So in many ways, we were kind of working our way slowly and then in the last season being coming cognizant that the changes were happening and adjusting to it. But we were always following story. We were always following character and we watched Bob Odenkirk's performance and the way his turn from sort of optimism towards bitterness is in many ways the turn from Jimmy McGill to Saul Goodman. It's so cool though because it's a little bit of strategy involved. It's like solving a puzzle um, and it's amazing. You're probably utilizing a different part of your brain sometimes for that than just the creativity of it. Well, absolutely. And in a way it's a little bit like a jazz band. You know, we've all played together for a long time and since we all know each other very well and we all have a sense of what our strengths and our weaknesses are, we're all kind of trying to find the groove and fitting into it. And we play really well off of one another. So when the editors have a certain cut, Dave and I will have different approaches to those cuts and different approaches to how we're delivering music. So in a way, we're all adjusting to a, a moving entity that keeps on shifting. And I think because we're all so comfortable with one another and we're so, uh, I think, supportive of one another, we're all feel so lucky to be working on this project. It's, you know, it's probably the best project we've ever been a part of with the happiest team. So in a sense, we're all finding new ways to be challenged, new ways to find exciting solutions to problems that we hadn't helped with before. And I think in a way, it's going to be interesting to loop it all around. I love that. Well, thank you for the insight and congratulations on this. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Nice Appreciate to meet you. Me. I love you night. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite TV moment was this year.